Now, I'm a, a software architect in a former life. What can you say about how the architecture of the smart city and vis-a-vis -vis smart buildings, smart grids, smart other infrastructures, how is that architecture emerging? And is it emerging as an architecture or not? Gradually and in pieces in each um, of the different sectors, you know, water, power, transportation, human services, uh, et cetera, et cetera. They're all contributing their own piece, kind of flavored in their own way. Mm -hmm. But we don't ha yet have that lingua franca that lets them all trade uh, information very easily and lets them all s uh, s share a common underlying foundational elements. Mm -hmm. That's where we're seeing all this repetition. Where, so it will, I mean, even take a, a typical electric power utility, it, it can easily have seven sometimes twice as many different communication systems. Wow. And maybe they need two or three, but they probably don't need seven, seven or fourteen. <laughs> Seven's a lucky number, but it's a lot Even so, in right. this case. And the same with cities. So that's why one of the most important things cities can do is to, is to create a, a simple roadmap and an architecture, uh, especially uh, for those common services like GIS, mm -hmm. uh, like um, communications, mm -hmm. and like a data structure. Mm -hmm. uh, treating data like a really precious asset like uh, that's shared throughout the city for everybody who needs it while respecting of course privacy mm -hmm. but um, you know really sharing it um, so it can be easily shared mm -hmm. and then an enterprise service bus or a web service of this kind of structure so you're not hardwiring one application to another you're not um, rewriting the same basic uh, functionality over and over again for each thing you you write it once, it becomes a, a, a module that you can call on from anywhere else. And in order for a robust supply chain to emerge, um, it's really important that they have customers across cities so that there really is a, a kind of a um, city industry practice, if you will, right. uh, to, to emerge in order for, there's still plenty of room for differentiation, but uh, uh, you don't want uh, complete differentiation everywhere, that's for sure. And this is just a, a, a typical phase of an early uh, an early new industry arising, right. and we'll get through it. And there are efforts underway to create reference architectures, both uh, proprietary ones by some of the leading suppliers, and then there are several cities who are trying to create an operating system for, for cities. And one or more of those will succeed, or they'll combine, or you know, we'll find a, a way through it.